Okay, this event, I'm sorry, this topic, independence. Let me summarize. Let me summarize. Yeah, yeah, another one. It is another one. Yes, it is. Um, okay, let me summarize here. We had two things. And, or. So let me make the two partitions here. Or first. And. When we had or, we have to apply addition rule. How about end? Today, we have a multiplication rule. Um, let me write the general one first, okay? Um, addition rule was yesterday, generally, probability A plus probability of B. It's not only addition, generally, you know, we added in the middle twice, but minus probability A and B. It was the general addition rule. Just before, we had general multiplication rule. For what? And. So the probability A and B, yeah, I, can, I have to say um, probability A or B now it is for A, I'm sorry, A and B, which was probability A times probability B given A, which was the general multiplication rule for A and B. Can you remember who was the special addition rule? The special case? Thank you. When they were mutually exclusive. It was just the probability of A add just the probability of B. <coughs> Why? Because the joint probability, the probability A and B was zero. Can you remember the Venn diagram? Two circles separately in the middle, the common area is no common area. So the special case when they were mutually exclusive, it just probability of A plus the probability of B because the last term probability of A, probability of A and B is nothing, zero. So we just take this one, the special case. Okay, now, let me go back to the here page. When they are independent, when they are independent, how do you think? It doesn't matter. See, here was conditional probability, B given A, you know, we took the conditional probability B given A 
depends on A. But if A and B, they are independent. Independent means they, they don't depend on each other. It will be just B. Because the B is, does not depend on A. I told you the conditional probability just focuses on B, not A, right? So when they are independent, the conditional probability B given A will be same as just B. Does it make sense? So let me go back to the table I made. It was the general multiplication rule. But now the special one. When they are independent. What happened? The conditional probability B given A will be just probability B. So now I can write here the probability of A and B will be probability of A times probability of B when they are independent. Again, because the conditional probability will be <coughs> just B. So now we have a two by two table. General addition rule. General multiplication rule. And two columns. Or and. Both of them, we had the special case. When they were mutually exclusive for or addition rule, when they are independent for the special multiplication rule for and, so we can make the two by two table. Does it make sense? Right? Yeah. So always we have uh, two cases. You know, very beginning we had two variable types. Categorical, numerical. A numerical had another two types. Discrete, continuous. Now we have uh, two cases. And, or. Another two cases. The general one and the special one. So please organize, yeah, organize your, the topics, right? And understand case by case. So um, now, today, we can complete, we can complete the table. Uh, yeah, here it is. Let me, let me delete more this one. Oops. Just a second. Yes, here it is. So um, today, now, we discuss the independent events. Okay, let's go back to the example. Choose a card out of 52. Do you remember? F, face card, 12 out of 52. King, four kings out of 52. Hearts, 13 out of 52. Do you remember them, right? So let me check. Let me check if K, kings, and F, face card, independent or not. How do you think? Are they independent? King, F, face card? You know, independence, you know, independence is, is one of the terminologies in statistics. So don't even think carefully. It just apply. Just take, 
just take the definitions. What was independence? So we just take, we just take the conditional probability, and just take unconditional probability B. If they are same, then we can say they are independent. Does it make sense, right? So let me take, let me take um, K given F. And let me take the other one, just K. You know, uh, whenever you have to be careful, the order, right? Probability of B, probability of B given A, same as the first one, B, another given event, right? Yeah, so be careful. So we need K given F, check if it is the same as K, probability of K. So let me take the conditional probability first. By the conditional probability rule, it will be same as probability K and F over probability of F. It's good. I just apply the conditional probability rule. Okay, let me take separately. K, king, and F. King and the face card. How many outcomes? for the joint probability. King and face card. How many cards? King and the face card. Four. Yeah, itself. You know, the king was one of the face card. So um, itself. So four out of 52. And the next one, face card. How many face card? Th 12, three face cards for each shape. Three by four, 12 out of 52. As I told you, always the denominators is canceled out. So the conditional probability will be four out of 12. Um, simplify, it will be one third, thank you. Let me take the just K. King. How many king? Four kings out of 52. Simplify will be one king for each shape. One out of 13. So the left hand side, the probability of K king, it is one out of 13, but the left one, the K king given face card was one third. They are not same. What does that mean? K king and F face card, they are not independent dependent it, it does it make sense king face card are not it yes because the king is one of the face card is not independent right it makes sense but mathematically statistically using the definition of the independence we showed they are not independent good let me try one more What's this? Between K, King, and H. What was H? Heart. Let me see. Hearts have a king. But I strongly suggest to you, don't even think carefully. Don't even try. Just apply the definition. Just apply the definition. So let me take, let me take the conditional probability. King, given heart, separately, 
just a king. It's already we took the king, the probability of a king, which was one third, one third, one out of thirteen, right? So let me try the conditional probability king given h. By the rule, it will be king and h. Who should be in the denominator? K or H? H. H. Because H was given. Yeah, we need a given part in the denominator at the bottom. H was given. H. Okay, now, king and heart. How many? King of hearts. Just one out of 52. How many hearts? 13. 13 out of 52. Cancel out. The conditional probability will be 1 out of 13. How much was this? King? 1 out of 13. They are same. Conditional probability and the marginal probability, just the K, they are same. What does that mean? King, hearts, they are independent. How do you think? Does it make sense? King, one of the hearts is a king, but they are independent. Before, face card and king were not independent. Don't even try to think. <laughs> okay, it doesn't matter. By the definition, by the definition. Just to take the conditional probability and unconditional probability, if they are same, simply say, we can say, yeah, we have to say they are independent. They are not equal, they are not independent. You don't have to think carefully. You know, sometimes it is easy, but sometimes it doesn't make sense. Always by the definition, by the definition. You know, another way, We can check like this, you know, using the special multiplication rule, if the conditional, I mean, I'm sorry, if the joint probability of A and B is the same as the multiplication of A and B, then we can say they are independent. So not only this one, but this one. You know, actually this one and that one is the same, the same equations. Because we can take the special multiplication rule from the definition of the uh, conditional probability, I mean, the definition of the independence. Okay, that, that's the same thing. So, either way, you can check this one or you can check that one. We can show if they are independent or not. And the very last one. I mean here, right? Yeah. The very last one, when we have uh, three events or more, when they are independent to each other, then the probability of A and B and C will be same as just take the multiplication separately. That's good, right? So now today, we complete, now today we complete the table or and the general one and the special one.